Hey guys, this is an update video from my Halo 3 mod. Uh, I've had a few developments since the last video I made, and hopefully my audio will be louder. So first of all, uh, I've moved a bunch of the vehicles, the default vehicles, down to the bottom of the list, and to new entries, and then I've just then I've added new, the new stuff to the front entries. That being said, I do have two extra entries at the bottom for new stuff that I that other friends even. So first of all my fat my Pelican. It has landing gear physics. This was due to a joint effort between me, Rejected Shotgun and also Coffee Robo on the Halo Wars Discord. Uh, all three of us were working on trying to get spherical, well, just physics objects in general to work, and it's actually paid off with spherical objects at the landing gear positions, which is allowing for the Pelican to actually sit properly. Uh, as you can see, it's bouncing around a little bit, but that's just due to our radii issue that I added by mistake, but it does work properly. The only downside is, unfortunately, the physics objects here actually stay exactly where they are, even when the landing gear raises. Not quite sure how I attach it to, you know, the actual load itself, but it's not a big deal because it's not a point where you're really going to notice it. And I should like write down at the ground or something to like with it in midair. But anyway, uh, the seats themselves are also usable. You can get in them, you can shoot out of them, and get out from them. And then obviously the power can itself is flyable with the landing gear animations working fully, and also the rocket pods. You can't get into the Forge Editor while flying, because if you do, unfortunately the game will crash, I'm not sure why. We also have the Phantom. Um, I've not done anything with passenger seats for that, I want to try and get a grav lift to work, so you can get inside it, but I'll leave that for in the future. Same thing with the Elite Phantom. Uh, set up my combat forms. Not, not, not really any progress made with that, but you know, it's still pretty cool. Setting up blah blah. It still works just fine. But uh, what is new with this is my artillery cannon. It's not done yet, it's a work in progress, but it is going to be the Scarab's big brother. If you take a look at the Scarab here, uh, yeah, it's just normal Scarab. If we take the Scarab here, though, and we, oh, on turret. Damn it. And we get in the turret, as you can see, it doesn't actually have any turret rotation. It does cha it does a uh, still show the change a little bit uh, in terms of where the projectile fires, fires, but it's a fully working startup uh, artillery cannon. What I would like to do, though, is instead of just being more powerful scarab shots of an arc, I'm hoping to make it into something like maybe a nook cannon or something. But for now, I think it's a good work in progress. Uh, it's got quite a long range, and they just say you can rotate it into a thing, and it only goes up and down now. 
which is actually what I wanted from it. But, uh, yeah, that's just an update on what I've brought the now. I will be adding more and I will actually I'm actually going to release a patch of it in its current state. It's a work in progress. I will upload it to both the Halo Mods Discord and also the Nexus. And I will update it accordingly with what I believe is good enough to release, I suppose. Uh, just a couple of notes, so like the defenders are gone and so are the barriers between the, all, all the barriers really. So there's actually no limit to the site to where you can go on the map now. Uh, but let's see, this will be getting released as a patch file for bo on both the Halo Mods Discord and on the Nexus. And I uh, hope you enjoy.